Hi, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to talk about my fragrances for fall. So all the fragrances I'm going to talk about are fragrances that I wear mainly for the fall season. Um, because to me they really incarnate, <laughs> let's say, the fall season. Because they have all have one of these notes that really remind me of fall. So to me these notes are notes like sweat, leather, lavender, plum, violet leaves, um, all the nutty notes also <laughs> like uh, chestnut, um, hazelnut, all the nuts. <laughs> and also the woody notes, the patchouli, the vetiver, anything that is quite earthy also reminds me of fall. So all these notes have something that remind me of fall and then these fragrances have one of these notes or, or several of them but uh, most of them most of these fragrances i'm going to talk about today are fragrances that i wear only for fall so i'm not talking about fragrances that to me works all year long maybe maybe they do maybe they, some of them are your signature scent but when i smell them to me it reminds me directly uh, of the fall season so let's start because I have lots of fragrances um, to talk about because fall season is a season that I really enjoy for fragrances. I'm a really seasonal wearer, let's say. That season really impacts my choices uh, in terms of, of fragrances. So I love to change my fragrances and I love to change them depending on my mood, depending on the occasion and also depending on the season. So let's start. So my first fragrance, of course, is Pourpre d'automne, so with the name like this, <laughs> of course this is a fragrance that reminds me of fall. It makes me think of the color red, but a dark red. It has the note of iris, of violet, this is what I get the most here, this is the violet. And it has also these violet leaves that give this uh, slightly suede feel to it. Also with this plum note, which is quite sweet it's bringing some sweetness to the fragrance uh, it has some mm. rose also and in that sense this fragrance reminds me a bit of misia but i don't know why misia maybe in this fruity part reminds me um it has something a bit lipsticky that i would wear maybe uh, for spring also but i don't know this one to me this is one that i wear only for fall and not for spring Maybe because of these violet leaves that are maybe more present or the violet, but there is something really um, fruity and sweat like to me in this one. And yeah, I, I think it's it works perfectly for fall. It's quite comforting. So yeah, this is a great fall fragrance. And this is my first one. My second fragrance is a fragrance by Bottega Veneta and it is Eau de Velours. So we could say that most of Veneta, uh, Bodega Veneta fragrances to me, they smell like fall <laughs> because they have this leather uh, touch to the fragrance or they have this patchouli or they have this quite earthy notes uh, to me that reminds me of fall. And this one, yeah, it is really, really spicy <laughs> compared to uh, Pourpre de Tonne. It has this kind of vibe, but it's more leathery and spicy, so let's say it's a darker version of Pourpre d'automne, but this is kind of the same vibe. So my next one is Cuir Amethyst. So it is maybe closer to Pourpre d'automne in the sense that I have lots of violet here also. I have some patchouli, the rose. And, but I have something really balmy behind. And it doesn't have the fruity part of Pourpre d'automne, but it has something a bit nutty in it. I don't know if it's the patchouli, which is giving this touch, but yeah, this is also a beautiful one for, for fall. My next one also has the note of plum, as most of the other fragrances that I talked about, except Cuir Amethyst, I guess. And it is, yeah, definitely more fruity, woody, and more sweet, <laughs> for sure. And it is uh, Widian. Two. So, yeah, as I said, this, this fragrance, where I get the most here, it, this is the fruity part mixed with the sandalwood. So this is, let's say, one of the only sandalwood fragrance that works on me. So does it mean that it's synthetic sandalwood? Maybe. <laughs> it 
because usually cinder sandalwood smells like yeah really bad on me so <laughs> at least natural sandalwood and this one has a really comforting uh, base with the musk and the vanilla and I don't know for I'm only reaching for this fragrance for fall so this is not one that I wear a lot but yeah I think this is perfect for the season another plum fragrance again <laughs> and this one is by Tom Ford it is plum japonais thank you Marion for reminding me that I got this bottle because this is <laughs> indeed the perfect season to wear this one and this one yes indeed so what I have I have the plum but I have lots of spices on top of it I have something a little bit boozy piney definitely with quite a dark base ambery and woody yes now I, I can already get the the pine notes I really love <laughs> this kind of fragrances yeah this is definitely the, the smell of fall in the bottle to me you have this impression of the forest you have this fruity touch the spices so yeah definitely a good one unfortunately discontinued but yes hopefully maybe they will bring it back one day my next one is unfortunately discontinued also and this is a fragrance by Guerlain it is Baiser de Russie so I finally finished all my uh, decants <laughs> that I get of this bottle so now I'm going to to start using this one and so what does it smell like so this fragrance was part of um, Les Parisian collection it is quite a soft fragrance then in that sense because this collection is not made <laughs> with of strong fragrances let's say they are quite soft they don't project a lot and they are quite they sit quite close to the skin but this one is really beautiful it reminds me let's say of uh, Mont Guerlain but without the lavender it's more fruity so I have the plum also in this one I have uh, some cranberries um, I have this pine touch sweet touch I have some comforting tonka beans in, in on the in the base and this is really beautiful this is I just hope that it would be a bit stronger <laughs> For once this is pretty rare that I say that but this one is really discreet in the sense that if I don't smell my wrist even after a few hours it's really hard for me to to get to get it really strongly let's say but if I put it on my scarf something like that it's really comforting so this sits really close to the skin and um, yeah <laughs> but this is really a lovely fragrance um, that reminds me of fall uh, maybe um, when I smell this fragrance, I think about, uh, I don't know if you know this uh, YouTuber, what's her name again? Jona something. <laughs> I will put her name or a link to her channel uh, in the description box. She makes some lifestyles video and she lives in uh, Sweden. So you can follow her in her life in Sweden, in the forest, in her cabin, um, taking some photographs. It's really really pretty place uh, really interesting to follow her to see how she lives and i remember that she um, she loves to get berries uh, during the, the summer and the fall season for her winter and this is really this is strange but when i see the landscape when i see her picking her berries this is the, the if i could smell <laughs> the, the landscape and what she's doing this is exactly uh, what i could smell i guess from this this imagery the scenery so this is i don't know the image that i have from it uh, when i smell this fragrance my next fragrance also had a fruity touch with red fruits and it is oscarine by sylvain de la courte and it is a strong <laughs> compared to the previous fragrance this is a strong orange blossom fragrance so this is quite sweet but it has some aromatic notes and fruity notes that makes it really interesting so it has this pine note this cypress notes these woody notes that brings this fragrance um, yeah they bring this fragrance let's say a bit more on the full uh, side and yeah and these uh, fruity notes also they are bringing some greenness to the fragrance and yeah they give something folly <laughs> I don't know fall like <laughs> to this fragrance so this is 
Yeah, this is, I guess, the only orange blossom fragrance that really reminds me of fall. This is strange, but yeah, this is a fragrance that reminds me of this season also. Okay, my next one is a travel size and it is Russian leather. So this is by Memo. They have many um, beautiful leather fragrances that are quite soft and works all year long. So I guess this one works all year long, but to me really reminds me, this one reminds me of fall because of this, all these aromatic notes, these pine notes. Um, yeah, it has some lavender, I guess also. So you see all the, yeah, I smell the lavender in this one a lot. I get lots of lavender and something like pine notes, woody notes. Yeah, it has also some comforting notes. So I guess this is the tonka bean that I get in the end with the leather. And it has something like a almost a sportswear feel to it. Almost like a men's sportswear fragrance, but really with some really great ingredients, really well made. So I guess some people would wear it all year long, but to me this one really smells like fall because because of, because of these notes that uh, yeah reminds me of the season. So yeah, another great one. <laughs> so my next fragrance is a fragrance by L'Artisan Parfumeur and it is called Méchant Loup. So this fragrance is a really dry, woody fragrance with the note of licorice and hazelnut. I have these notes, but they are really dry. And also the, there is sandalwood in this one, but the sandalwood is not creamy at all. Um, it's a really dry, <laughs> let's say, sandalwood, almost dusty, without having this dusty feel to it. It's <laughs> Yeah, almost a bit boozy. You have some resins behind, some myrrh, but it's not balmy and balsamic. It's it's remaining really dry. So I think it's a little bit more masculine leaning, but definitely smells more like fall, um, like walking into the wood when the, the, the wood is really dry. Like it has been dried by the sun. You really have this kind of dry wood <laughs> smell, I don't know. But this is really what uh, this fragrance re reminds me of. My next one is also a fragrance by L'Artisan Parfumeur and it is Noir Exquis. So this one on the contrary is definitely gourmand to me. It's really sweet. Uh, there is no sweetness at all in Méchant Loup, but here it is quite sweet. Like a syrupy um, chestnut uh, cream, something like that. <laughs> Yeah, like a chestnut syrup, maybe, I don't know if it does exist, but it has also some coffee notes. Coffee is also a note that reminds me of fall. I don't know why, but <laughs> maybe because when it's cold outside, you stay at home and you make some coffee. I don't know. But... And it has a really uh, gourmand background with this vanilla and the tonka beans. It's really comforting. It's a beautiful fragrance and definitely one that I'm going to wear for. My next fragrance is a fragrance by Maison Lancôme and it is also, let's say, a nutty fragrance. <laughs> it is Tuberose Castan. So Tuberose is, um, is a note, is a, is a flower that is growing at the end of uh, summer. So I think this is really a note that put me in the mood for fall. Let's say it's uh, something to transition for me <laughs> from... Uh, summer to fall because this is also quite a strong note and I definitely don't wear tuberos for summer. Uh, this is more something that I would wear when it's colder. And the fact that it is uh, blended with this beautiful chestnut note which is really addictive and gourmand, it is just <laughs> so well done, so beautifully made. I really love this one. Um, I have something like a spicy, creamy, really creamy tuberose with the chestnut. <sighs> really the gourmand touch of the chestnut uh, and with something woody. I have something like maybe a sandalwood feel to it, but it's not mentioned. And with some, uh, yeah, some comforting notes behind like vanilla, tonka beans. Oh, it's delicious. I love to uh, spray it on my scarf and I have it for the whole day. The longevity, the projection is uh, is really great. Uh, I'm not sure this 
still make this fragrance. Um, I remember I bought a backup because this is how much I love this one, but I can't have a fall season, uh, autumn season without this fragrance. <laughs> My next fragrance is a lavender fragrance and it is Lavande Trianon, so also by Maison Lancôme. So I have many lavender fragrances. This is a note that I really enjoy. I have some lavender fragrances that really remind me, let's say, more of spring or summer because they are quite fresh, mixed with some, um, I don't know, citrus notes. But this one is really creamy, aromatic, and has lots of vanilla. The lavender is quite harsh and green, but mixed with these creamy notes and the vanilla, it makes it super comforting. I really love this one. I talked a lot, I believe, of this one already on my channel. But this is one that I wear uh, mostly for fall. Because this is a really strong fragrance. This is not something that I would wear. I, I could see myself wearing for spring or summer. Definitely not. And it has really this comforting touch that I'm looking for uh, during this uh, fall autumn season when it's really cold, rainy, outside. So this is this kind of fragrance, this comforting fragrance that is perfect for fall. My next one is also a lavender fragrance and I wore it already for the month of September and this is Coffee Break. So this is this uh, small cute bottle <laughs> of Coffee Break. So this one is maybe a bit less harsh and easier to wear. It also has this creamy note, but it's mixed with the, this coffee note. So the lavender and the coffee here works really well together. And it has a comforting, creamy, vanillic base. So yeah, this also this, the kind of fragrance that you wear when you stay at home. It's grey outside or it's rainy. It's cloudy, I don't know, you stay under a blanket because you're sick or whatever, but <laughs> you want to stay home to chill or, I don't know, to watch TV. This is exactly the kind of fragrance I wear in this occasion. My next fragrance is also kind of comforting fragrance to me, and it is Kisses Rain by Renier. So this is one of the fragrances that I prefer from this brand. I have my three favorites are Kisses Rain, Black Rain, and Cassic. So this one is super almondy, creamy, comforting. Uh, it has also this vanilla in the base. Um, it has lots of almond and heliotrope. It's a bit powdery. It has some wood also behind. So it's quite strong. It's ambery. A little bit medicinal, so I, be I believe it's coming from the wood. But I really like that. <laughs> I really enjoy this one. I love the almond coffee part mixed with the wood, which is quite strong with the spices. It's almost gourmand to me, but really comforting and pleasing for fall. My next one has also lots of almond and especially tonka, and it is Tonka Imperial by Guerlain. So I love that this one has this bitter almond touch mixed with the tonka beans it's it works perfectly it gives really also this comforting almondy <laughs> vibe to it to the fragrance but what i really enjoy in this one are the aromatic notes uh, i love that they put this rosemary and the pine and definitely get these notes especially on my skin and i think it's working really well with the the tonka bean, it makes it really elegant without leaning too, too much gourmand or, and making the fragrance really unisex to me. And putting this definitely into the full ter territory. So <laughs> I really enjoyed that from this one. Uh, I got this fragrance last year, I believe, and it already, yeah, already used it a lot. So I believe this <laughs> fall season I'm going to wear it a lot also. Uh, yeah, this is really a great one. It took me a while to appreciate, to be honest. This was not one of my first um, from this collection because, as you can see, yes, this is from the the new um, bottles. But you know, once I tried it and I tried it on skin, especially, I really enjoyed it. And yeah, so now 
I'm into it. <laughs> okay, I had to make some space because, yeah, I'm lacking <laughs> space here now. So, okay, let's continue. Now we have another Guerlain fragrance, and this is one I reviewed recently on my channel. This is the new Flanker of Shanima, and it is uh, the Flanker, which is Millésime Tonka. So, again, an explosion of almonds and bitter almond and tonka bean. I really enjoyed this uh, sparkling bergamot on top. It's cutting through a little bit the powderiness of the fragrance because this is a really, really powdery fragrance. I have lots of vanilla and the vanilla really reminds me of the one that I had in the uh, last year um, flanker. Yes, the millésime vanilla planifolia. So the vanilla is also really good. Uh, we have this beautiful galinade behind. So it has kind of this, uh, let's say, more Guerlain DNA than Chalimar DNA because you have the galinade, but the tonka bean is really emphasized. It doesn't have this uh, animalic leathery note that you can have in the uh, EDP of Chalimar. So yeah, definitely, if you struggle with the Shalimar, but you love tonka beans, you love gourmand fragrances, yeah, just try this one. If you can, try it. My next fragrance is a leather fragrance, but leaning more on the gourmand side, let's say. And this fragrance is Ghibli by Ella K. So I tried most of the fragrances from the brand. Honestly, I enjoy them all. There are many of their fragrances that I would really enjoy to have. Like Rose de Pushka, Lettre de Pushka, um, Melody de Lalitai, I think something like that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> lots of them. And the, she, so Sonia Constant, she's the one who created the brand. And uh, she created some three new fragrances in this brand. So they are based on winds, apparently. So, and all of them are based on the note of leather. And this one is the slightly gourmand leather with this uh, nougat note, so it's nutty and it has also some jasmine in between. So it's a beautiful leather with jasmine and some gourmand nutty notes. And it's really beautiful. <sighs> yes, perfect for, for um, fall also. Because it has this gourmand touch, this leather, which is bit more suede, you know, like, um, do you say supple leather? You know <laughs> what I mean? Not this harsh leather jacket, which smells quite dirty. Not a dirty leather fragrance, but it's slightly, you, you have this slightly animalic feel behind of the leather, but you have this gourmand touch mixed with the jasmine. It's really beautiful. My next fragrance is, again, a Guerlain fragrance, and it is Cuir Beluga. So this one to me is quite vanillic. <laughs> I mean, the name is uh, Cuir Beluga, so leather, but the leather is really soft. It's it's a thread, but it smells more like vanilla to me than leather. Yeah, it's more vanilla thread, slightly amandy, a bit musky. To me, it has something musky in it and it's a really elegant one so it's really beautiful i don't really see myself wearing this fragrance for spring or definitely not summer it's not strong enough to me to wear for winter so definitely a nice one for fall my next one is from Italie Bro d'Orange and it is soul of my soul so i really enjoyed the whole this whole collection um, I also have uh, 500 years, uh, what is it, the Spice Must Flow? Yeah, I think that's it, but that's already <laughs> nice. And I think the whole collection would work perfectly well for fall, but this one is maybe a little bit less stronger than the other ones. They are all really, really strong. But uh, yeah, so this one has this... Um, Incensey, spicy opening that works really well for fall. It gives me fall vibes with this thread, the iris. On my skin, I have lots of iris, but <laughs> yeah, usually the floral notes on me shine a lot. 
So I have these floor notes, but mixed with the the suede and the vanilla. I have lots of vanilla behind. So what I get the most is this spicy opening with the incense. And after that, it's mixed with the suede and the vanilla. And this whole um, combination, let's say, it's giving me something really elegant, sophisticated and comforting at the same time. So this is why I really enjoy this one and I think it's the perfect uh, time to wear it. <laughs> My next one is Bois d'Armenie. So it is also in Larry La Matière collection. And I have something kind of a similar feel, let's say, from this one. So it's less spicy, peppery in the opening than uh, Soul of My Soul. But I still have this insensitive feel with... Uh, with iris and something really balmy, woody behind. I have lots of benzoin in the sense that it's giving me lots of uh, vanillic feel to, from it. So I have something really balmy, vanillic, that is so comforting, you know, that's so such a cozy fragrance. Yeah, I know vanilla is not listed, but I guess something like Lots of vanilla from it. I think that's because of the benzoin. So balmy, so beautiful. I love the Gaia wood in that one. That's one of the notes, one of my favorite notes. Woody notes. So, yeah, <laughs> really like this one. It's giving me also something a really elegant, comforting feel. So, yeah, it has less, perhaps I'd say it's less <laughs> spicy than this one. It's less peppery, but it's still really elegant and comforting. Yeah. So you take the same balmy, comforting recipe. Let's say you add some carnation and you have Louis <laughs> by Guerlain. So I have some similar feel also from this one. And yeah, it's also so balmy, comforting, a, bit, a little bit fruity in the opening. But, but what I get the most here, the spices, the carnation and this balmy, woody, vanillic base that is so comforting and elegant. Also definitely unisex. I don't know how it was marketed, but I, I guess, yeah, like this one. <laughs> They're all unisex to me, but yeah. And yeah, definitely one that I wear also for fall. I never wear this fragrance uh, when it's not fall. I don't know, but maybe it's not dark or strong enough to wear for winter and to strong or too uh, specific to, to work in spring and summer. It doesn't <laughs> smell like summer at all. So yeah, definitely a great one for fall. My next one has also a spicy opening, but a beautiful iris note, and it is Cuir d'Iris. So this is a iris and leather fragrance, as you can doubt. <laughs> So this is by Atelier Materi. I believe they renamed the fragrance Iris Eben. So I was surprised because I saw, I think it was on Fragantica they, that they published two different pages for this fragrance now. So Cuir d'Iris and Iris Eben. I thought it was just an issue with the name of the fragrance because Cuir d'Iris was already taken by uh, Pierre Guillaume. Maybe they had a, a trial or whatever, you know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening behind the scene, but... In the end, they changed the name of the fragrance to Iris Eben, and maybe it was reformulated. I don't know, but what I get the most... Let, let's go back to the fragrance. What I get the most from this one is Iris. I have a beautiful Iris in this one. I love the Iris nose in it. Mixed with the leather, it's so beautiful. It has this beautiful, spicy, peppery opening, a comforting woody base with the sandalwood, in that sense that it's giving me some Diorum vibe. I don't know if it's the iris, the sandalwood and the leather touch. Yeah, definitely. It's like a beautiful elevated Diorum. So if you love Diorum, you're a bit disappointed by the new versions of Diorum, maybe try this one, Curious. I know that it's much more expensive, but this is a good one. My next one is by the same brand, Atelier Materi, and it is Cacao Porcelana. So this is a beautiful, boozy cacao fragrance. It has also the notes of tobacco and tonka beans, which makes it really uh, comforting. And it has also the dispatchuli, which makes it quite strong. Let's <laughs> say strong enough for the period. My next fragrance is a rose fragrance. I don't have many fragrance, uh, rose fragrance for this period. 
but this is a rose and patchouli fragrance and it is Rouge Velours by Yves Saint Laurent. So from this collection, I have a few that I really enjoy and this one is one to me that really works for fall because this rose with all these other floral notes, it's really floral. The rose is, is really present, but I have also lots of iris and jasmine, especially from this one. Or oh, on my skin it smells more like jasmine, I don't know. But I have also lots of uh, vetiver and patchouli in the base and these are notes that really remind me of uh, fall. So yeah, this is one that I wear only for this period of the year. My next fragrance is from the same brand. It's a beautiful patchouli fragrance. So this is Tuxedo. And yes, I have some similar feel, let's say, with the fragrances that I showed you at the beginning <laughs> of this video. So if you remember this, um, maybe it's reminding me of Cuiramethyst a little bit, because I guess I have this violet leaves, maybe the coriander too, or some rose. I love the base also, the patchouli is really, really nice. It's earthy, but it's working really well with the other notes. It's super spicy, peppery. I really enjoy this one. It's leaning maybe a little bit more masculine, but I really enjoy it and I wear it, so whatever. <laughs> my next fragrance is my Memo, and it is also a patchouli fragrance. And it is, I don't know if you can see this, I have the travel spray. It's my love has the color of the night. They love this... Um, long name and yeah i said memo but this is the same brand <laughs> this is the same company sorry but yeah this is floraiku yeah and uh, this fragrance is uh, yes what i get the most indeed it's the patchouli but it has lots of gaia wood also and some vetiver in the base so definitely woody definitely smelling like fall to me and their fragrances are pretty simple, but the ingredients are really good. So, yeah, I really appreciate this one also. Like, it's like fall in a bottle. My next fragrance is a fragrance by uh, Nikolai, and it is Bois Bédis. So this fragrance is quite a new release from them. I believe it was released last year. And this is a Rudy Rose. Um, ar quite aromatic also. It has some oak moss, which is bringing, bringing something let's say, a bit bitter to the fragrance, mixed with the cloves and the mate. I believe the mate is also bringing this bitterness. And this, yes, there is an earthy bitterness to the fragrance that, yeah, to me, really reminds me of the season. So this is, yeah, definitely a rose, a woody rose, but, uh, yeah, one for four. Another rose, so I get much more rose from this one, but it is Kelly Kalesh by Hermès. And this is a leathery rose. Really elegant. Not spicy at all, really floral. Uh, a bit green. A beautiful uh, rose leather fragrance. Smells like, uh, I don't know, um, leather from... Uh, a new car, new handbag <laughs> with the rose. It's really pretty. And yeah, the, the only season I wear it also is, is for fall. And my last one, you may be surprised, but it is Mitsuko. So this is the Eau de Toilette. It's not the actual version, but it's just the previous version. But to me, this one has the kind of, I don't know, suede, velvety, feel that I got from the, the first fragrances I talked about also. So this may be because of the fruity touch, the rose and mixed with the spices. I really like this part of the fragrance. But the only problem <laughs> with this one to me is the okmos. So the okmos on my skin is really bitter, really earthy. Otherwise, I really enjoy this fragrance. On paper, it's really beautiful. On my skin, it's really, really bitter. But I don't know, maybe I need to try the new version because, yeah, or retry it. I tried the new version and honestly, it was uh, more modern, less uh, bitter, had less okmos feel from it. I don't remember if this one has real okmos, but definitely the new one does not. And 
yeah, uh, <laughs> this one just smells like full to me. It's like full in the bottle. I know that this is some, um, yeah, sign it's a signature scent for many people. They love to wear it all year long. I think it can definitely work all year long, but to me, this is um, full. <laughs> it smells like full to me because of this oak moss, I guess, and this, yeah, the spices and this velvet feel that I get from this fragrance. Okay, so in the end, maybe let's talk about the fragrances, two fragrances that I don't have, but I really enjoy to have and to wear for fall. So the first one is Frustration by Etat Libre d'Orange. So this is from the same collection as uh, Soul of My Soul. This is their latest release. And this one is a boozy, uh, beautiful chestnut cream with vanilla. And I think that would be perfect for fall. This is the perfect period of the year to wear it. And I really enjoyed the smell of it. So... I love to have it and to wear it for the fall season. And the next one is also quite a new release. This is the version of, yeah, maybe you can't see it, but this is a Chanel fragrance. And this is the um, Sycomore, but the Parfum version that they've just released. And honestly, I, yeah, I really enjoyed this version. I was not a great fan of the Sycomore Eau de Parfum. I found it quite um, harsh and dry and quite strong but not necessarily in a good way and this one is really sits closer to the skin it's rounder it's more comforting i love this they added this note of iris and vanilla to the fragrance with the vetivets working really well and it's giving me this really cozy comforting vibe it's really rounder compared to the eau de parfum and i really prefer this uh, parfum version definitely a win for me uh the price a little bit less <laughs> because yeah this is quite expensive so yeah i try to resonate let's yeah, say how do you say that but I, <laughs> I try to tell myself i don't need it but yeah it's a beautiful vetiver fragrance and i definitely prefer the parfum version to the eau de parfum so voila, these were my propositions. Let's say my roundup for <laughs> fall. I hope you enjoyed um, my proposition. Maybe you will find something uh, to wear, something you will enjoy or something you don't know. Uh, tell me what you want to wear this fall season, uh, which fragrance you are really eager to wear, What which one you, are, you started already to wear and you are really enjoying. And I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye. <laughs>